So armed with all that wonderful material, those great ideas, I ran into my publisher's office and I told him. This was my reaction, the reaction he gave me. Stan, that is the worst idea I have ever heard. <laughs> First of all, and he started to give me his, because he's a very logical man, very intellectual. First of all, people hate spiders. So you can't call a hero Spider-Man. You want him to be a teenager? Teenagers can only be sidekicks. And you want him to have personal problems? Stan, don't you know what a superhero is? They don't have personal problems. Well, I left the office disappointed, but obviously a much wiser man. And I couldn't get Spider-Man out of my system. So we were about to kill a magazine. I think it was called Amazing Fantasy. It wasn't selling well, and we were sending the last issue to press. When you do the last issue of a magazine, nobody cares what you put in it, because the book is dying. Just to get it out of my system, I put Spider-Man in Amazing Fantasy, feature him on the cover, Forgot about it. A month later, all the sales figures came in. My publisher came racing into my office. Stan, Stan, you remember that character we both loved so much, Spider-Man? <laughs> he said, let's do him as a series. Now, why am I telling you this? Besides the fact that I have to kill a little time. If you have an idea that you genuinely think is good, don't let some idiot talk you out of it. 